Hi everyone and welcome to the Marriage Secret Masterclass, the Empowered Love Programme. My name is Nicola Beer and today I'm going to show you how to reignite the love in your marriage in less than 60 minutes or so without losing him or her forever, using a little known secret that marriage counsellors don't want you to know. Now, I'm guessing that for a lot of you this is probably not your first webinar. And the first thing I want to mention is that even if you've tried to salvage the love and reconnect with your spouse in the past and it's not worked, it's not your fault. There's lots of information out there and it can be confusing. Most of the time we're doing what our parents did in the past, not knowing the real secrets of change. Most of the time information overload keeps you from success. But it's okay. Clarity is the main goal of this masterclass. You are in the right place. If you've been concerned or worried that you just can't create the perfect loving marriage or relationship, I want to put those fears to rest. You can do this. You just need the right guidance to follow. Traditional marriage counsellors and the media want you to think that you either have to talk over your issues or that once you fall in love, that's it. You live happily ever after. The end. And I'm here to tell you that they're wrong. They have their own reasons for wanting you to think that, but it's not true. If you've ever thought that your family, in-laws or friends perhaps don't want your relationship to be great, you may be right. They don't benefit from your relationship working like you do. Sometimes relatives and friends want to keep you for themselves or push their beliefs onto you and perhaps their belief that true happiness doesn't exist. The difference with us is that we actually care about the love you experience in the world. We truly want to see you living the dreams of your life. I truly want to see you living the dreams of your life. Because I not only believe it's possible, I know it's possible. Because a smile and a loving heart goes a long way to making the world a brighter place. And that's our mission. So that's what I'm here for. I know you have a dream to live a happier, peaceful and powerful life with the one you fell in love with. And I do too. I know that you want to reconnect and revive the passion and love you once had. And I want to show you how to make that happen on this webinar. My goal for this presentation is to help two types of people. For those of you that have tried everything to make the marriage work but feel that it's your partner stopping it from working, you'll get access to unrevealed marriage secrets that will instantly create clarity and direction for your relationship and help you see precisely what you need to do next. And for those of you who are just not feeling it, you'll understand what has caused this feeling within you and how you can use this feeling to make the best experience of your life. The only way for you to find everlasting love and happiness in your marriage is to awaken your internal love energy. And this is my goal for the webinar, to show you this. And the other goal is to show you that the only way to awaken the love energy around you is through the Empowered Love Formula. Over the last past nine years, I've helped thousands of couples to revitalize intimacy. I've worked with people from all over the world, from all walks of life, from different religious, cultural and social economic backgrounds, including Saudi royal families, Asian diplomats, US and European celebrities, athletes and artists, as well as thousands of everyday people like me who can come from an ordinary, if you can call it ordinary, regular upbringing. I've helped individuals and couples who earn $20,000 a year to $5 million, and the results are the same. They get to have the loving relationship they've been yearning for. I'm an international best-selling author of four books. I've been featured on ABC, CBS, NCB, Fox News, Huffington Post and Wall Street Selects. I also host a very popular podcast show on iTunes and Stitcher that enables couples to skyrocket their happiness and family connectedness. So it all started when I was sitting out looking across my bed at my then partner. I looked at him and realised that I wasn't even in a room with someone I knew. It was like being in the room with a total stranger, feeling awkward, not knowing the next words to say. The room felt distant and cold, like all the love had been stripped out by the Grim Reaper. And that's when we started sleeping in separate rooms. Yes, separate rooms. Our sleeping schedules didn't match anymore. I would get up super early and he would go to bed super late. 
Could it be that we were avoiding each other? I didn't even think about that. All I kept thinking was, this must ha be how people cope with their partners. This must be normal, surely. Every day, I'd be living my life, going to work, and not even giving my home life a thought. It was one big, quiet awkwardness. We stopped having sex weeks ago. And that was normal too, wasn't it? And then one day, a flash of clarity came to me. That's it! My ha unhappiness wasn't coming from my relationship. It was coming from the part of town that we lived in. Yes, that was it. The area must be giving me all of this unhappiness. Convinced that a change of surroundings would skyrocket my levels of happiness and contentment, we sat down to talk. It was decided, let's move to the Palm Island in Dubai, one of the most fanciest places to live on the planet. We had a gorgeous apartment with a balcony and sea view. It was like permanently being on holiday. My commute to work was less than 10 minutes, seven to be exact, and we had the opportunity to decorate it. And I hope that this will be the turning point for our relationship, a new start. Yes, this was the answer to my unhappiness. But things only got worse. Looking out onto the vast ocean sea view after we moved, I started to feel more and more unhappy inside, like I was being poisoned from within, with no antidote to save me or us. Instead of the dreamy new relationship that should have come after the move, we never talked about our relationship, our future plans. We just bumbled along, burying our heads in the sand. It felt like my favourite dish, you know, the one you always pick, at my favourite restaurant, had been taken off the menu for good. And it was never going to be put back on. Not now, not ever. I hit the brick wall. I started to feel really down. The feeling engulfed my body and started to infect all areas of my life. I knew my boyfriend loved me and was a good person, but I couldn't understand why he, the man that was supposed to love me, didn't make me happy anymore. And guess what? We were back in separate rooms, no different to the last flat we lived in, living separate lives. He would watch reruns of TV and trash TV all day and all night, while simultaneously working on his laptop. I felt unseen, unheard and unimportant. He also kept encouraging me to work harder. Can you imagine that? Someone that worked in front of the TV all day was wanting me to work more. I took him telling me as a sign that he didn't want me around or to spend time with me. The screens he were glued to were more important. Things were getting worse and worse, like the love was being poisoned with an incurable disease. It felt like we were 90 years old, staying in all the time. There was no passion, excitement, and no communication. I loved him, but it wasn't enough. And then it really happened. A gremlin started to poke its nose into my life and started th saying things like, what's wrong with me? Why doesn't he love me enough? This relationship is pointless. He's not giving me anything. Why is it always me that has to adapt? Why doesn't he change? He smokes too much, is terrible with money, lazy, boring and annoying. Why wouldn't he want to just have fun and do things with me? Naturally, to distract myself, I was working day and night and exercising myself into the ground. I developed a very, very unhelpful crushing habit of drinking every night to comfort myself. One glass of wine after the other, I would pour into my mouth, drowning out the unhappiness to make things okay for a little while longer. I remember one day coming home, walking through the door, straight to the fridge, I grabbed the ice cold bottle of rosé wine that I had hidden in the back corner, popped it open and went straight for the balcony where I found some solace from the relentless throbbing of loneliness. As you can imagine, after drinking every day, my mind started to become weak and unmotivated. What followed next was a horrific round of disturbing dreams that caused me to sweat fiercely. I would wake up completely exhausted from the sleep in a pool of sweat. Can you imagine that? Not getting any sleep at all. It felt like I'd been awake for 24 hours, even though I'd only just woken up. 
as the days passed I was getting less and less sleep, until one day I completely broke down. I couldn't stand the life-draining pain of nightmares and sleepless nights. Insomnia had moved in. At this point I hit rock bottom. My entire life had become a whirlpool of despair and unhappiness. Thinking back on it now, I've realised how destructive my thoughts and actions were. Do you want to know the funny thing? At the same time, I was still eating healthily and exercising daily. I didn't want to break away from my health routine, scared that if I did, I was going to feel even more crushed. I loved my job and I was a top performing consultant in my office and recognised and ranked globally as one of the best in my multinational company. I lived in the great apartment, yet I was desperately unhappy because my home life and relationship felt like an empty glass. And then it happened. One day, instead of grabbing the hidden bottle of wine at the back of the fridge, I opened my laptop and started typing. Not sleeping was starting to get to me seriously badly, so I searched for sleeping issues. At the time, I wasn't ready to face my relationship issue. Yes, sleep was the issue instead. Little did I know that my life would change completely forever. I stumbled across Paul McKenna's book, I Can Make You Sleep, online. One of the exercises in the book is to sit somewhere quiet and ask yourself, what are you feeling and why does this matter to me? And I kept asking the question, why does it matter to me, as the book instructed. I felt strange inside. It was weird because I've never really stopped to feel my own emotions before. It hurt. I could feel the pain of a very unhappy, low self-esteem. It's kind of like you're a big, soggy sponge, heavy with water, without a hope of being wrung out to dry, hopeless and heavy. But the change had already taken place. Even the very asking of why does this matter to me, and being honest with myself, I started to feel a sense of peace and ease I'd not felt in over two years. I knew I was onto something life-changing, and I kept asking, as the book suggests, the question, what am I feeling? Angry, hurt, disappointed. Why does it matter to me? I don't want to feel angry. Why, why does that matter to me? Because I'm not an angry person. And then I asked myself the question, having a loving, happy home and relationship, why does that matter to me? Because I deserve it. Because I want it. This is how my thoughts were going. And then it hit me. It matters to me to have a happy home and relationship. Because I'm a loving, caring, kind and engaging person. It matters to me because I'm a fun, passionate and positive person. Yet this was not my reality. I was living the life of someone who isolates, is lonely, is sad is angry, bitter, and moody. Ouch, it was horrible. And then I felt it deep inside, the real truth, where the greatest pain was coming from. I was not living the life I was meant to live. I was not being the real me. I was not being the loving, happy person that I knew I could be, and I knew I was. And if you know that you can be something, that means that you are that already. And this was my turning point. I needed to switch my whole life around and be who I really am. Love, kindness, sensual, fun and generous. I started to notice my energy levels skyrocket higher and higher as I started to focus on things that made me feel alive, not things that would bring me down. The more focus I was giving to myself and the internal feeling inside, the better things started to get. Little did I know, but I was awakening my love energy. Awakening your love energy is kind of like when you fall in love for the first time. You get butterflies in your stomach. You feel invincible, on top of the world. Everything just flows. Traffic lights are green, everyone is smiling, and nothing can throw you off your game. It's like you are struck by a lightning bolt, full of clarity and peace. After seeing that this was the most powerful discovery that I'd ever made, it led me to find out this one truth. That awakening your love energy is the only way to a healthy, everlasting, 
happy, powerful, engaging, connected relationship. Over the next few years, I totally geeked out. It changed my life so profoundly that I needed to find out the fastest way for a couple and individuals to awaken this love energy. I made a plan to learn everything I could about what it takes to cultivate a lifelong successful relationship. And since then, I've spent over $300,000 mastering different techniques, hypnotherapy, neurolinguistic programming, NLP, timeline therapy, grief and loss recovery, advanced transpersonal psychology, counseling, Myers-Briggs type indicator facilitator, cellular healing, becoming a certified journey practitioner by the journey in Brandon Bays, addiction coaching, relationship coaching, conflict resolution, yoga teacher training, meditation therapy, and I've begun my PhD in transpersonal psychology, all in the hope of discovering the best way of awakening this energy. I learned the key is realizing that your energies and beliefs shape your reality. You can change your life from the inside out. And this includes your relationship by shifting your energy. It was then that I knew if I want a kind, loving, generous partner, I need to be loving, kind and generous to myself. I need to become that to attract it. I was the world's number one sceptic to anything about energy and attracting things. And that's why I literally spent thousands of dollars mastering the whole spectrum of tools and techniques to find out what works and what doesn't. After really implementing everything that I learned and formulating my own system for cultivating change, things really started to shift. I was noticing more and more people were attracted to me. It kind of felt like I had a magnet attached to me, pulling love towards me in every single direction. And guess what? It still feels like that. Since learning the truth about love energy, I've created my dream life. I get to live the life I've always wanted. I get to be the person that I really am. That's love, kindness, fun, and helping people grow. My relationships have become more meaningful, deeper, and richer. Like a deeply stimulating conversation with your best friend. I get heaps of heaps of affection, love, respect, and mountains of attention that I'm not even looking for, and passion that's incredible. I don't even need to talk about it. After I awakened the energy, I became what I already was, love. The end result? I'm widely respected as one of the world's top relationship experts with an array of clients from all around the world. I've gone on to create multiple online training initiatives that have helped thousands of couples reconnect and awaken the love. And the best thing is, it has a 98% success rate, higher than any other methodology. And the transformation. I'm a totally renewed person, highly confident, full of energy. And if you ask my partner, I think he'll tell you that I'm a very openly loving person. Along my journey, I've come to know, within my heart, that the only way for me to have a relationship that is just simply works and grows deeper and deeper, I need to awaken my love energy. Without that happening, I fear I'd still be sleeping in separate rooms, drinking my life away. You probably didn't drink like I did, or have insomnia that keeps you awake all night, or became a workaholic. But awakening your love energy still applies whatever your situation, your relationship is in. Here's how marriage counsellors traditionally try to help save your marriage. They sit you down in a cold, plain office room and get you to talk over past issues. And here's why that's hard. Talking over and over the old problems again. Focusing on the past never got anyone anywhere. Instead of growing deeper in love and wisdom, you bring up stale negative experiences in a, in a room with someone that hardly talks to help you. You have no control over the journey. It's just a very well put together waste of money that will eat your bank account dry if you're not careful. Awakening your love energy makes reigniting the love in your marriage simple. 
like learning to ride a bike as you control the journey by focusing on your own love and happiness, which in turn will radically change the relationship dynamic. Now, you probably didn't move houses to deal with your unhappiness, but you may have started to sleep in separate rooms. When you start to awaken your internal love energy, you will notice how situations like those predictable evenings of icy silences or shouting battles just don't happen anymore. In fact, you'll know exactly how to deal with every situation with the air of love and appreciation and notice the powerful strength within you. Now, you might be thinking, oh yes, Nicola, but you're an expert, so how do you think someone like me could do something like that? Great question. The cool thing is, it didn't just work for me. It's worked for all kinds of people all over the world. Just look at Michael and Sue, who went to marriage counselling for 12 months. Yes, a whole year. And it failed to have any positive impact. They spent thousands and thousands of dollars, travelled over an hour to get there and back, and felt worse and more hopeless after. They were having clashes over sex and alcohol. Each week they would turn up and hear each other's point of view, which never worked. So they both took a deep leap of faith and tried things this new way. And this is what happened. Sue said, Instead of focusing on what was wrong with each other or missing in our relationship, we focus on the steps to be more loving to ourselves and each other. The formula focuses on clearing negativity and resentment. And as soon as we did that, we both felt immediately better. We even agreed to never complain about past things again, to put our attention on making each other happy. Within only a few weeks, we felt so much closer and wanted to spend more time together. We booked a weekend away, which was very passionate, intimate and fun. Amazing how quickly we turned the relationship around when we shifted our energy and fully let go of the past. Imagine seeing this change in your relationship. How would it feel to both go out to dinner knowing that when you get home you'll be cuddled up next to each other playing again like little kids? Amazing, right? Here is what we're going to cover in the next 60 minutes or so. Three secrets. Secret one, awaken your love energy. Secret two, release and reset your heart. Secret three, getting them to accept you as you are. So the first secret that you need to understand is how to awaken your love energy. Your hidden magnetic love energy. Using a little known secret that's never been seen before. Now let me tell you a story. I hit rock bottom nine years ago while trying to make my relationship a success. Why wasn't it as simple as getting success in my career? I'd lie awake at night feeling totally alone and hollow. Drinking was my only escape. I wanted the relationship of my dreams. I wanted to feel loved. I wanted the loneliness to go. I know I needed it badly. Nothing I wanted more than the loving, growing relationship I'd seen on the movies or friends' families' marriages. You know, the people that have been together for ages and are so happy and you can feel how much they adore and dote on each other. Instead, I was struggling with my drinking problem. Hiding the bottles at the back of the luxury apartment fridge or stashing the empty bottles in the cupboard to later recycle, hoping that my partner wouldn't notice. The problem? I didn't want to face my relationship problems. I'd rather drink or work excessively than sit down, take a deep breath and transcend my problems. It wasn't until I asked myself those powerful internal questions from Paul McKenna's book that I realised that I was not being who I really am. And when I made the decision to then understand everything I could about what makes relationships really work, what brings out the best in a person, in a relationship, and what is needed to create a loving, peaceful and happy home environment without tension. The journey of discovery took me all the way from Dubai over to Greece where I met a unique character that taught me the secrets of the workings of the subconscious mind. It was super powerful. 
I learned a secret way of refocusing your mind to enable you to quickly open and awaken your love energy. While in Greece, I was still feeling low. Like I've got no friends to turn to. In fact, I did. I just didn't realise it at the time. Feeling like there was something missing inside, like a hollow tree that had just fallen onto the forest floor, I needed a change of scenery from the intensity of the relationship and life back home. As I sat there in front of this world expert on understanding the human mind and relationships, my mind was wandering all the time, not resting on anything. I looked out of the window onto the vacant stair onto the autumn afternoon. The trees were swaying in the wind, the ground covered with golden, brown, red and bronze leaves, scattered everywhere, that beautiful autumn look. All the time, I was feeling disappointed, frustrated and hurt inside of me. And then, out of the corner of my disinterested eardrums, I heard the instructor say, Imagine for a second that you're in a very spacious white box, totally calming and relaxed. You're sitting on a soft luxury armchair that feels so comfortable, it's almost like it's been handmade just for your body. You're just sitting here, relaxed. Now just for a second, close your eyes, take a deep breath in and out, and feel in to your body for a moment. Leave your worries, hopes and outside problems behind you. Notice what is here and just relax ever deeper. Then move into your heart. Focus on your heart for a moment. Leave your worries and outside problems behind you. Focus on your heart centre. And just for a second, don't give your attention to the thoughts in your mind about the relationship. Just leave them be. You can easily do it. Don't worry, you can pick up all of your problems after this. But just for now, give yourself this one moment to leave everything outside of your very spacious white box. Okay? Really do it. Now then, being inside this spacious, comfortable white box with a soft, warming glow coming from the walls, what does it feel like? What can you sense? Safety, peace, calmness, at ease, hopeful. I followed the exercise. I mean, I really followed the steps. Then the instructor asked, do you feel a sense of comfort, a sense of warmth, an inner strength? Can you feel a subtle energy around your body? That's love. I closed my eyes and found myself sitting in this pure white box, feeling into my heart. I left all my thoughts outside the box. Nothing was there to bother me. I felt totally at peace, loved. The longer I stayed in this state, the less my thoughts distracted me. Behind all the thoughts was a comforting warmth and a calming energy, totally at one with life and myself. A buzz of clear, crisp relaxation fell over me. Never ever in the past four years had I felt so relaxed. It kind of felt like I was being carried on a soft, pillowy cloud without a single care in the world. Nothing to bother me. I experienced something profound. I knew without a shadow of doubt that following this exercise I could direct my attention to things that empowered me or disempowered me. It was a choice. The more I kept practicing this simple exercise, the more my power grew stronger. The more peace and the more love and understanding I felt. And I was able to transmit this to others. You cannot give love and peace if you don't feel it on the inside. I noticed that the more I accepted things as they were, and put my peace and happiness above everything else, the more my love energy grew. What I learnt from the trip to Greece was that even in these times of total darkness and despair, it's simple to open your love energies by shifting your focus to create instant and lasting changes that will shine on everyone in life. I needed to take care of myself 
and start to love myself more, only then will I be able to love and be loved. It was that simple. It's such a simple exercise and the effects are instant. Do you think you could easily do this? It was only after the experience that I knew in my hearts of hearts that the only way to elevate my happiness and build a successful relationship was by focusing on myself and my inner love energy. Never before had I thought of giving myself the focus and time as a way to change the relationship. I thought the change had to come from him changing and being nicer and more different. Now you might be thinking, oh yes Nicola, but you're an expert, so how do you think someone like me could do something like that? Great question. The cool thing is, is that it didn't just work for me, it worked for all kinds of people all over the world. Just look at Lisa, who went through five miserable years of suffering, hoping her husband would change. Little did she know that the way to focus her dream marriage as she wanted, it was only possible to do this when she focused on awakening her love energy. They were having clashes over sex, family finances and the direction they should take the marriage. Each week Lisa would pray that Tom's point of view would change. It was only when she first heard about the Empowered Love Formula that things really started to change. This is what happened. This is what Lisa said. If I knew how effective the formula would be, I wouldn't have waited five whole years suffering, just hoping that my husband would change. I was hesitant because I didn't know if you could really save your marriage on your own, and yet I was determined to try. After following the step-by-step -step formula, I awakened my love energy, and it worked so well. A week later, he joined me anyway. I'm so pleased I took action and started to use this incredible system to restore the love and happiness in my life. As goodness knows how many more years we would have wasted being miserable around each other. And Tom said, After seeing the profound changes in Lisa, I became curious, and I thought I'd at least have a look at what this formula was all about. Instantly, I liked Nicola's no-nonsense approach, and the fact that we didn't have to drag up the past. It was clear the formula was forward focus, looking at the future, which I agree with, and so it suited me. You're probably thinking, Awakening my love energy is just a load of mumbo-jumbo, right? A load of old codswallop. <laughs> I haven't even said that phrase in such a long time. I think it's a British phrase, codswallop. Anyway, well, at first I thought that the only way to repair my relationship was to be more successful in my career and finances. That would make life happier and the relationship would be happier. But nothing changed. And so, well, that didn't work. I made the move to new surroundings, and as I mentioned earlier, I thought that would make things better. I couldn't have been more wrong on both. You see, everything is energy, and energy is everything. Do you remember back in the science class? That was a long time ago for me. The teacher used to talk about protons, neutrons, atoms, and all these particles that make up the energy all around us. You may also remember these particles vibrate to make things appear fit and feel solid, like your hand. It's science, plain and simple. Awakening your love energy is no different. Love energy is a particular form of vibrating particles that move in a particular way and cause us to experience and feel a strong sense of happiness and contentment. The vibrations of love literally change the structure of your cells. You may have heard of Masaru Emoto, the famous Japanese scientist in his world famous freezing experiments. He tested the effects of saying particular words onto water and then freezing it. And did you know the human body is made up of over 98% water? Keep that in mind when looking at these effects. The effect of the word love on freezing water. The effect of the phrase you disgust me on freezing water. The energetic vibration that you're currently giving off directly affects your entire body and structure of your cells. Pretty incredible, right? The more words of love and gratitude directed towards the water, the more harmonious the shapes of the ice flakes were. 
I remember the first time I was told about this study, I was on a communication training at work, and several guys from my office started to attack the trainer, saying, that's ridiculous, I don't believe it. So in the break, she gave them the link to the study and evidence, and they were amazed. Sometimes it's hard to grasp that we are energy and impact each other, as we're so often much in our minds. We're so much into our smartphones, our laptops, these days, as well as our day-to-day -day routines, to notice the energy in us and the energy around us. If you want to find out more about the study, just Google it, Masaru Imotu, and just see for yourself how amazing this love energy, the words that we use, really does affect our bodies and how we operate. So you're probably also thinking, but Nicola, I can't afford the time or money to fly away or get away from it all. Well... Although I did travel away, it wasn't the trip that transformed my life and relationship. It was a simple exercise that shifted my thinking that truly changed the direction for me. You don't have to leave the comfort of your room to raise your love energy. I remember when I first started to shift the focus. I would create lots of different ways to awaken my love energy from studying all the different schools all around the world. I would then go to the park and walk or jog for an hour with my headphones listening to what has now become the Empowered Love Formula. It was so freeing. With each stride, I felt more alive and open. When I arrived back home, my partner praised me for how I looked, something he rarely did before. My energy was starting to change his actions. You're probably thinking, I can't see how awakening my love energy can help my marriage problems. It seems like it's an individual exercise. It's too simple. How can that help my marriage, right? Well, I remember before I learned any of this stuff, coming home from work one day, it had been a busy day, very stressful in fact. The first thing I saw when I came through the door was my partner doing the same old thing, sitting in the same chair in front of the TV with his laptop, not moving at all. My first reaction was to judge him internally. And then I said, what are you watching now? Another crappy rerun? Is that what you've got in the menu for this evening? How boring. And then I would mutter under my breath, not so quietly, to myself, God, oh, you're such an old man. And then this escalated into a full-blown argument. Fast forward a few months. Again, I came home from work. It was a busy day. Normally, I would have been stressed out. But after focusing on awakening my love energy and keeping my attention on my own inner feeling of peace, calm, and transmitting love, I sit in a quiet place for 10 minutes and go through the exercise I mentioned earlier. I strolled through the door, feeling an air of confidence. My partner was sitting by the TV. But this time, instead of the judgment, I looked over and I just smiled at him. The best thing was, he stopped what he was doing, turned off the TV, looked lovingly back at me. He beckoned me to go and sit down next to him opposite him and asked me if I wanted to go and do something together, anything I want. And he'd even looked up what was on at the theatre and found out what bands were playing in town. His energy had shifted. He'd actually planned something for us and I didn't even ask. It kind of felt like I had won the lottery. I was so excited inside. It's the little things that make us feel happy. I felt seen and desired. This has not only worked for me, it's also worked for thousands of couples. Let me introduce Sarah, who is clashing and battling with her husband over finances, her children and non-existent sex life. It was torture, plain and simple. Her husband refused to get help, so she decided to go it alone. I remember when she first discovered awakening her love energy. She said to me, Nicola, I instantly feel better. It's like a dark, heavy rain cloud has been lifted from the top of my head. After a couple of weeks, it happened. The same as it always does. Her husband wanted to know where all this change in Sarah was coming from. He couldn't believe how calm, peaceful and loving she was being. He then joined the program at no extra cost. I heard from Sarah the other day, telling me how they just booked 
a luxury holiday away together without the children. She also said, we're so grateful. Things keep getting, getting better and better. And we finally turned a corner that I didn't think would be possible. So now I've shown you how to awaken your magnetic love energy. Marriage secret number one. Isn't that awesome? So secret two that you need to understand is release and reset your heart. How to press reset on your relationship or marriage and quickly reignite faster than you think. So let me tell you a quick story. Walking into work one day after having one of the best experiences of my life over in Greece, I was hooked on understanding more on what created this happy light feeling I was feeling. I felt like I was floating around in a bubble of clear, fresh spring water. The only problem was, I didn't want to share what I had experienced with my partner just yet. I wanted to understand more. Okay, I said to myself, let's start downloading every audio course and meditation that I could get my hands on. From deeply relaxing meditations that started to clear my insomnia, to audio and online course, and understanding the dynamics of relationships. It was total overload, but I knew it was necessary. It was my only goal to have the growing, loving relationship that I'd always dreamed of. I remember one night coming home and sitting in the living room with my guy. I wanted to listen to the new audio programs that I downloaded. The best thing was, because there were audios, I didn't have to worry about him getting angry or upset about what I was doing, which was important to me because I wanted the freedom to do this. The freedom to do it alone until I felt strong and confident enough to share it with him. After absorbing the mountain of highly impact meditations, audios and lessons, I quickly started to notice the effect it was having on my life. It kind of felt like I was on a 300 mile per hour supercar that was moving at top speed. The more I would listen, the better I felt. My colleagues would say to me, Nicola, you're literally glowing. What have you been doing to look so great? You look amazing, stunning. What are you taking? They would joke. I have to be honest, at the time I looked in the mirror and didn't recognise myself. I'd not looked that good in a long time. It was a stark change from the cold, grey, looking hungover or drunk of two months before. It was almost like I'd been stolen by a band of aliens and taken to a new galaxy. The speed at which my love energy had awakened was totally awe-inspiring. Having the freedom of audios to listen to when I was in the car, cleaning, walking, or even clearing emails at my desk, this, it was one thing that really changed it for me. Not being worried about what people thought, I could just get on to awakening my love energy and watch the world change around me. The speed at which things changed took me totally by surprise. I'd spent over two years waiting to get my career and finances successful and sorted because then I would be happy. And then another two years testing out the new location because I thought that these could be the root of the problem. Four whole years. And yet, in less than two months, I experienced a new reality. It was only down to the focus of opening and awakening my love energy even more. Little did I know that nine years later I would be one of the world-renowned relationship experts. The single most important factor was understanding that only a very small shift in my love energy caused me to start thinking, feeling and attracting more love, happiness and magic into my life and more of what I was giving out to the world. The best thing is that I worked out the perfect system that creates a hyper-fast change in your love energy without you having to ask anyone to help you or change anything. You might now be thinking, oh yes Nicola, but you're an expert or you're unique, you're different or you've spent so much time on this. How do you think someone like me could do something like that? And the cool thing is, it didn't just work for me. It's worked for all kinds of people all over the world. Just look at Avram. He was always thinking that it was difficult to change his marriage. He'd hit hard times in his finances and it was straining his marriage to death. 
He found me on for my podcast shows on iTunes. Safe to say, he was burning with pain. But after he took that leap of faith and tried things this way, this is what happened. Before I started working on awakening my love energy with Nicola, I was extremely unhappy about my marriage and my life at home in general. The most difficult part was the lack of closeness in the marriage. We were also under financial stress. Everything seemed like a pressure cooker in the house, about to explode. If I continued down the path I was on, I would have left the marriage, my family, friends and community due to the embarrassment. The thing about Nicola is that she's warm, kind, understanding, compassionate and creates a safe environment to share your most personal and guarded challenges. The privacy to listen to the audios from her own home or car were also a great comfort to me. My biggest insight or lesson learned about the Empowered Love Formula was how I can live a life by design instead of dragging myself down by the things that frustrate me. I started the program alone and my wife joined me a few months later after she noticed the changes in my energy. It was like I'd turned a corner into the confident, calm, cool and attractive husband overnight. It was great to start seeing the changes in her. I'd recommend Nicola to anyone who is looking to take control of their life and relationship. Now you're probably thinking, but Nicola, I don't have the time to awaken my love energy. Things are bad at the moment, right? Well, I was on the edge of a breakdown between the insomnia and excessive drinking. I definitely didn't have the time because for me, I was too busy occupying my mind with things that didn't help my relationship. It was only when I dedicated myself to creating the successful relationship that I made time. It was the best decision I've ever made. And when I started to feel and experience the results firsthand, it was almost like I didn't have to try. Things were flowing. In fact, it was exactly like that. Life just kept unfolding beautifully. Now you're probably thinking, Nicola, how can I listen to the audios and change your marriage fast, right? How can listening to some audios make a huge difference to your relationship? Well, I remember before I listened to the audios, I listened to the negative, insecure, racing and resentful thoughts in my mind. Thoughts that crushed my energy. Thoughts that made me closed. Thoughts that made me angry. Thoughts that made me feel like giving up. The audios helped to retrain my thinking. They retrained my thoughts, shifted my beliefs. Listening to very specific meditations and audios switched my love energy onto full power. It was like my brain was being fed super healthy greens all day long. It was getting more and more great nutrients. I was deepening in my knowledge about how to create successful relationships. So you're probably thinking, Nicola, how do I know what to start listening to, to change my marriage fast, right? To transform my relationship now. Well, I remember first realizing that raising my love energy was the key to my relationship success. I searched high and low for some of the best videos, lectures, books, meditations. I spent literally thousands and thousands on courses and traveled all the way over the world to get this training. I was sitting on a bench one day listening to a Pacific Love Awakening meditation that I created. I was listening during my lunch hour and I felt this love inside. And I started sending loving thoughts to my partner. And I focused on giving love out to the world, to all human beings and to my partner. And as I felt love inside me from my head right the way down to my toes. Suddenly, out of the blue, Not expecting anything, my phone rang. It was my partner who called me up and said, let's go away for the weekend. Now you might be thinking, wow, so what? That happens to me all the time. But as a little side note, my partner hates spending money on travel or holidays. He thinks unless the hotel room is way better than your home, it's better to stay at home. We'd not been away, just the two of us, for over three years. I felt like a kid in the sweet shop for the first time. You know, like the movie, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, where they have that sweet scene 
and it's just incredible and you're like wow that's how I felt I started to notice which sequin to awaken your love energy works best and would have the greatest effect and after nine years of refining and getting world experts from all over the world and testing them the empowered love formula was created Jack was someone who had joined the empowered love formula he was on his last legs, about to walk out. His wife would constantly be messaging him, day and night, whether he was in the office, or out at work, or entertaining clients. Now this isn't your typical marriage problem, but he felt totally boxed in, with no room to breathe. She needed to know what he was doing all the time, every second. It sucked the energy right out of him. He wanted some answers, so he went online and found the Empowered Love Formula. After jumping in, Jack realised that he had been giving in to some controlling tendencies of his wife, like allowing her to always check his phone, for example. He wasn't much of a talker, and he, she never seemed to listen, so he'd never really said anything to her. But then Jack emailed me a week after starting my programme, and he said, Nicola, I've realised something. I never take time for myself to be happy. And I've never really let my love energy grow. I've never even meditated before your course. And now it's really awakened me. And I've decided to tell my wife how I feel about her constant checking up on me. It was so great clearing the air. She opened up and expressed that she couldn't help it. That she kept having thoughts of me cheating. That these thoughts were really hurting her mind. And she was just so scared at being cheated on because of her family history of her dad cheating on her mum. So the following week, Jack's wife signed up and found that her insecurities went. Her insecurities, her jealousy, her acting out on these disappeared when she also started listening to the Empowered Love Formula. When she started listening to the audios and the meditations that helped her focus on loving herself and freeing herself from fear and they both became more confident, more carefree, more loving and were enjoying life more. Jack said, Nicola since the program we are now having a baby and we're the happiest we've ever been and he let me know that they weren't comfortable having a baby before because of these constant arguments and now they felt so comfortable together that they were having a baby, which delighted me. So now I've shown you how to press reset on your marriage over a weekend and reignite love faster and easier than you think. Isn't that awesome? So the third secret that you need to understand is how to watch your partner change overnight without you having to go over past problems that keep you stuck in constant arguments. Now let me tell you a quick story. I'd just landed in Dubai. I remember walking off the plane, feeling like I'd been sat in a spa for a whole week. The sense of freedom and peace after working on my love energy over the past week at the Greek retreat was still buzzing around inside. Safe to say, things felt different. It's kind of like when you awake from an amazing dream. You can still feel that epic feeling inside. Walking past all of the people in the terminal, I noticed that most had smiles on their faces and as I looked and smiled back, I felt great inside. For such a long time, I'd been keeping my head down, not even noticing people around me. I was kind of one of those people that thinks that people hate me and just kept myself to myself. But feeling so much love inside, I'd become more open and happy. As I was waiting for my suitcase, to arrive on the conveyor belt, to leave the airport and go back home, I still felt my stomach knotting in nervousness about the prospect of meeting and talking to my partner because I'd gone away to have a little break. Even though I knew I'd changed during the week and that with my new approach to life, things would be different. And then it happened. As I pulled my suitcase along past the queue of hotel chauffeurs, standing with my name cards and taxi drivers calling you for a limo service. In the corner of my eye, I noticed a bright red colour at the end. As I looked closer, 
I thought. I recognise those shiny glasses. A mile off. My partner was standing there. My mouth dropped. Take these, he said, as he handed me a big bunch of roses. We hugged so deeply. It was beautiful. And then he took control of my bags, which I love. <laughs> and it took me a few moments to get over the shock of his surprise. In the whole time we were together, we'd never met each other at the airport. In fact, it was the first time I'd ever been met at an airport in the place where I lived. Inside, I was filled with joy and knew that this was right. And this had all been a result of focusing on awakening my love energy. We jumped in his car, we kissed passionately, something we hadn't done in a long time. And it felt different. He also tasted different. He shared with me that whilst I was gone, he'd also finally quit smoking, something that we also used to argue about. It felt like Christmas had come early. He asked me how the trip had been, and I'd opened up to him about the incredible experiences I had at the retreat. I shared with him the simple exercises that refocused my mind away from the stress, away from complaining, away from resentment and negativity towards love and happiness and peace. I could see how clearly all the pain and hard times were a cloud raining over the relationship all the time while my love energy was sleeping. We arrived home, made love, and it was like we'd never forgotten each other. And I slept like I'd never slept before. Over the coming weeks, I continued to immerse myself in more highly powerful techniques, spurred on by the success I was starting to see. Each day coming home from work, I noticed how when we talked, it was like a flowing river of water, so natural and simple. We discussed all of our differences in a calm, adult way. Every time I could feel tension in the air, or a judgment coming from inside, I would say to myself, what would love do? Or, how can I be more loving? I remember walking through the door of the flat, noticing my partner sitting on the sofa again, as before my retreat. I could feel some old anger or resentment slightly rising, and then it happened. What would love do? And the next thing that came out of me was, would you like a cup of coffee? Yes, he said, surprised. I then looked over at the washing. He'd done it neatly folded in a pile. And that's when I knew, in my heart of hearts, that my love energy was awakened. Small changes in the way I reacted to situations and using the phrase, what would love do? Or, how can I be more loving? Through this, the bond that we had together grew stronger. As I acted more loving, he acted more loving. Something so simple, but so powerful. I could feel and I could see and I could witness and notice that my love energy was awakened. Awakening my love energy didn't mean that I had to make undue effort to try and change my partner. It was as if he noticed the changes within me and he responded to that change. It was kind of like when you start singing a song and then everyone joins in the tune because they enjoy it and they know it. I'm singing the song of love and everyone else is joining in. Every time that you have a challenging situation in your marriage, I want you to say to yourself, what would love do? Or how can I be more loving in a calm way and wait for the answer and notice how you respond? It helps like magic. Sometimes it's about being more loving to myself. And sometimes it's about being more loving to others, to my partner. Don't take my word for it. Try it. This is just the beginning of awakening your love energy. See how you get on. It's just amazing. Now you might be thinking, oh yes, Nicola, but you're an expert or you spent so much time on this. How do you think someone like me could do something like that? And the cool thing is that it didn't just work for me. It's worked for all kinds of people all over the world. Just look at Linda, mother of three. She tried everything. She watched the YouTube videos, read all the blogs, and she kept thinking that you can't do anything but wait for them to want to change. 
And that's what the research was showing her also. Research was showing her on the internet that they have to want to change. There was nothing she could do to get her partner to change. So she thought, there's no way I can save my relationship on my own. She felt hopeless. She was ready to give up all together. Then she stumbled across the Empowered Love Formula and thought, it sounds different. So for the sake of my children, I'll trust one last time to make it work. And she did. She took that leap of faith and tried this new approach. And this is what happened. I was so surprised how well the strategies in the Empowered Love Formula actually worked. I read up lots before on how on anger, low moods, aggression, and most of what I found said you can't do anything. They have to want to change. But I knew if I waited, our marriage would be over. There was so much useful information given on how to create more love, motivate your spouse, ways to overcome anger, how to handle conflict, how to make joint decisions. It was well worth the money and time spent. I never thought you could save a relationship on your own before, but you can. The only part that was difficult was fighting the voice inside my head that kept on saying, why do I have to go first? Why is it always me? Why should I be kind to him when he is so difficult? Nicola's advice really helped me with that. She made me see that this way of thinking kills the relationship as it focuses on what is missing and lack of love. Before the programme, we had both been waiting for each other to make the effort first. We were barely communicating and the children could sense the tension and were playing us off against each other. Thankfully, not only are we much closer, the children seem happier and better behaved too. Thanks Nicola, your programme changed our lives. So that was an email that I received from her. So you're probably thinking, Nicola, why does it always have to be me? Well, I remember thinking the same thing. Night after night, I'd look at him on the sofa with such disgust, it hurt me on the inside. Gosh, why can't he be different? Why is he so obsessed with that? Why doesn't he love me enough? Why isn't he giving me enough attention? Why doesn't he just freaking change? It was hard. And then I remember reading the Gandhi quote. I've actually got the Gandhi quote on my wall and I looked at it and it said, be the change you want to see in the world. I had this quote hanging in my wall on my bedroom, but yet I hadn't even paid much attention to it before. It was so powerful that I stood and understood that I was meant to follow this right then, right now. Concentrating on your love energy and awakening your love energy creates ripples in your world that last a lifetime. Your dream marriage is awaiting for you. Your dream relationship is there. Only once you come into your true power. So you're probably thinking, it can't be that easy to get them to change, right? It can't be that simple. Well, before I found out about awakening love energy, I tried absolutely every trick in the book. I remember doing everything to please him, to show him how much I loved him at the sacrifice of myself. The problem was, I wasn't coming from a place of love, but rather from a place of neediness and hopelessness. He could sense that, and he didn't want me to do things for him. I was doing it because I was feeling a lack of love and waiting desperately for him to show love back. I was focused on the lack of love and the needing something from him when I was giving love. This is not a high vibration of love for two reasons. When you give love to get something in return, that's not free flowing love. That's a transaction. And if your love is transactional, you're giving love in a low energy frequency. It's not the high love energy frequency that I've been talking about in this webinar. And if you give so much love at the sacrifice of yourself, that's not high love energy either. 
because you're not loving yourself. And in order for love to grow, for love to flow, it needs to be coming in and out of us. Therefore, we need to be loving ourselves and our partners and the universe. It's only when you come from your own strength and love do you have the power to influence and change anyone else? They'll be inspired by the change they see in you. This happened to not only me, but Julie. When Julie joined the Empowered Love Formula, everything shifted for her. Now, Julie is your down-to-earth American wife. She did everything for her family, put in the extra shifts at work to send her kids to college. And then last year, her husband came to her wanting a divorce. It was totally out of the blue. He wanted to exit the family. It had started to crush Julie from within. In a desperate attempt to understand what was going wrong, she started to search online. When she found the Empowered Love Formula, she knew this was right. After work one summer evening, after listening to the audios in the car, she started to feel freer and more alive. All the way home and to work that week, she'd been listening to the unique, empowered love audios playing in her ears on this evening instead of feeling anxious to see her husband when she got home she felt different something had changed inside she just felt love happy and at peace walking through the door she felt the warm breeze blowing in from the garden doors she could smell the smoke of the barbecue sizzling in the distance although her husband had asked for divorce several times at the start of the year he was still living in the house with the kids until they could decide on what to do with the house. Normally, they would just ignore each other. They would go about their own business at the home. But today was different. Julie walked outside the back door onto the garden where the barbecue was cooking away. The kids were sitting on the wooden deck looking out over the backyard. And then it happened. She caught her husband's eyes. Their eyes met. She was sending him love through her eyes. It was like a magnet was pulling their gaze together until Julie felt deep love well up from inside as they carried on gazing into each other's eyes. She said it was a kind of look and feeling that you get when you just look at someone and you know everything is going to be okay from this moment onwards. A connection had been re-established. Safe to say, Bob and Julie are now totally in love again, falling into the arms of the awakened love energy instead of feeling worried, anxious and stressed about the possibility of divorce. Julie stopped and focused on awakening her love energy. Now her and Bob are planning the future and they're actually planning an around-the-world trip that they've always wanted to go on. They've always wanted to go to Asia and Europe. And now they're planning that together. Since taking the Empowered Love Formula, it's like our lives have been given a breath of fresh air. Thank you, Nicola, she wrote to me. So now I've shown you how to watch your partner change overnight without you having to go over past problems that keep you stuck in constant arguments. Secret number three. Isn't it awesome? So let me ask you a question. If you followed what I showed you in secret one, and found how to awaken your hidden magnetic love energy, and then followed what I showed you in secret two, and press reset on your marriage over a weekend to reignite your love faster than you think, and then I used what I showed you in secret three to watch your partner change overnight without you having to go over past problems that keep you stuck in constant arguments, do you think you could be successful? Let me ask you another question. How many of you are excited about what we've just talked about? I remember when I first discovered how to awaken my love energy, I was so excited I couldn't stop expanding my knowledge. And now here I am today. You must awaken your love energy to save your relationship, to save your marriage. And if divorce threats have been happening, you're separated or apart, then to stop divorce, you need to awaken your love energy. So how many of you are feeling a little overwhelmed because we've covered so much. It's impossible to show you everything in a 60 minute presentation, but I've tried to cover as much as possible so that it's easy for you to implement these secrets in your relationship or marriage straight away. One of the most amazing things about my job 
is I've been able to speak to thousands of couples all over the world to help them save marriages and strengthen families. Beware of these common mistakes that most couples hold back success. One, not believing that you're enough. I know I've felt that lots of times and I've suffered from that, but you are enough. Not willing to invest in yourself and your marriage. Not willing to try to fix things on your own. Belief that you can't fix things on your own. But I hope that you can see from this video that yes, you can do this. The possibilities are endless when you awaken your love energy. It's up to you to make this real. Right now, you have a choice. You can turn away from your relationship and leave the dream behind. You can decide that it's not possible to save your marriage. You can say, other people can do that, but not me, not my marriage, not with my husband, not with my wife, not with our situation. And you can choose to settle for divorce or choose to settle for a never-ending battle with your loved one and sleepless nights, or settle for not being free, or settle for feeling like something's missing, being lonely. Or you can do what I did, what my clients like Michael and Sue, Avram, Lisa, Julie, Tom, Jack, Claire, and countless others did. You can step into your vision of an incredible marriage, an incredible relationship, and start creating real freedom. Start living a powerful marriage. And if that's what you want, my team and I have set aside some time in the next couple of days so I can speak to you personally. This is going to be about how you can apply the secrets in your relationship. So here's how it works. I'm going to get you on an online call for 30 minutes. And on the call, we're going to get you clear on three things. One, ways you can increase happiness, love and passion. Two, actions to overcome your biggest challenges and feel like a team again. And three, steps you can apply immediately to improve communication and connection. I've helped thousands of individuals single-handedly save their marriage, as well as couples online. So you have the option of just you being present or inviting your partner to join as well. And I'm going to get you clear on those three things. It's going to take about 30 minutes and it's absolutely free. We'll meet online and we'll work together to get you clear on exactly what you need to do to awaken that love energy and to increase your happiness, love and passion, to take actions to overcome any challenges and to steps that you can apply immediately to improve your communication and connection. Sound good? I'm going to show you how to get all of these in the fastest way possible. So you know exactly the way to move forward and cut through all of the confusion. Now this isn't for everyone. It's only for people who are committed to making their life and their marriage truly extraordinary. For people who are committed to taking action in order to create the loving marriage that they know is possible. You see, if we know that we can be something, then it's up to us to step up and do it. And that's what it was for me. I knew that I could be loving and have a great relationship. I knew that it was possible for me. And I took the leap to find out how to do it. Now it took me nine years of gathering this, all this information and I'm going to share with you some tips in my one-to-one -one with you. So here's the catch. The calendar fills up very fast. Thousands of people watch this video every week. So you really want to grab your spot right now. All you need to do is click the button below and we'll set up the Relationship Rescue Strategy Session. And if there are no calendar spots available, then I'm really, really sorry. I have literally tried to open up my calendar as much as I can because I actually love doing this, so I really want to help you. So when you click the blue button, all it's going to do is going to take you to our calendar. So make sure you put in your time zone so that you can choose a time that works for you and grab an appointment whenever works for you. We'll send you the instructions on how to join the online call. All you need is internet access, that's it. And we'll get crystal clear on exactly what steps you need to make. The stuff I've been sharing with you here is simple, but it's not easy. We've covered a lot. What we've talked about is life-changing, about awakening your love energy, about pressing reset on your heart, 
by releasing the negativity, the resentment, the frustration from the past. And also about getting them to accept you how you are and getting them to change overnight without having to talk about old problems. These are the only way to create lasting, true love and have an amazing relationship. And it can be scary if you don't do it right. Or you may just want to give up without having an expert to guide you. I love the quote by Tony Robbins who said that there's so much content in the world, in the modern era, we're inundated with information these days. But what is lacking is wisdom. And I hope over the last nine years and having worked with thousands and thousands of couples all over the world that I've got the wisdom that I can't wait to share with you. Because random bits of information here and there or families and friends' opinions can create a whole host of problems, of conflicting advice that can give you a huge headache. And that's why I'm here. I'm here to bypass all of those headaches. I'm there to get you the fastest solution. So it doesn't matter whether there's been an affair, whether there's a separation, whether there's been divorce threats, whether there's loneliness, frustration, lack of sex, lack of attraction, lack of communication. I know how to switch from this difficult time into a happier, healthier relationship and home. I'm here to get rid of that headache. So the reason I'm able to do that, as I mentioned, I've been doing it for nine years and I do this every single day. I help men and women all over the world every single day online. So why not let me give you a hand and let's change your relationship and your home life. Because our relationship and our home life, I believe, is the most important area of our life. And if it's not the most important, most people will agree it's one of the most important areas. And it can be really hard to shift on your own because we're in it. Insanity is doing the same thing again and again. And I sadly did that for four years. So having knowledge is great. Having big ideas is great. But it's sadly not enough if all we're doing is the same thing again and again. Because remember, what we need is the outcome. And if there's no outcome, there's no point. And if we want the outcome, we need to find people who know how to get us where we want to be. Experts that have a proven system that has helped countless other people so that we can follow and we can learn the fastest way to get the results. Because we can never ever get more time. We can always make more money, but we can never get back lost time. So anyway, I'm here to offer you that support. All you need to do is click the button below. I can't wait for you to join me, book an appointment, and we'll get you on the path to awakening your love energy and saving your relationship, strengthening your relationship. So I just wanna thank you for watching this video. It's been my dream to get to do what I do and share the real joy of living from love. And it's because of you that I get that honor. So I thank you. Click the link below and let's make your relationship magical. All you've got to do is say yes to yourself and yes to the kind of life that you envisioned for yourself and yes to a playful, passionate relationship. I really hope you take that step. I really hope that you get to have the most amazing relationship of your life while creating total peace, freedom and happiness. And I'd love to help you do it. So from my heart to yours, I hope that we get to speak again soon. Have a wonderful evening, morning, afternoon, or sleep, whatever you're doing next, ahead. Take care.